Indiana House has passed a bill that would expand the school voucher program. Now, this essentially gives money to parents to send their kids to private schools in some cases. But the legislation is drawing controversy. News 10 spoke, News 10's Dominic Miranda spoke with stakeholders on both sides of the legislation. He joins us now live in our newsroom with more details on where both sides stand. I spoke with representatives of both the Indiana Non-Public Education Association and the Vigo County Teachers Union. Both laid out why they are in support or opposed to this bill, and it really comes down to one thing, state funding. The school choice expansion bill contains several parts that deal with school vouchers, but the most controversial appears to involve establishing Indiana's first educational savings account program. This focuses on students with special needs, foster children, and students from military families. Rather than converting the funding directly to a voucher, it goes into a savings account where a parent has more control over how funds are spent. It could be for private school tuition or services like tutors. John Elsesser is with the INPEA. He says this program provides more opportunities for students and families. No matter who their child is or what their educational interests or needs are, they can find the school that's the right fit for them. And personally, we don't care if that's in public, private, or, or charter, as long as it's a place where a student can be successful. And that's why we support Choice, because Choice provides those options for families who typically would not be able to afford them. Jody Buckaloo is a teacher and member of the Vigo County Teachers Union. She contends that 93% of all K-12 students in Indiana attend public schools, and that's where the funding, which is based off enrollment, should stay. Ultimately, when we defund public education, we're defunding the learning conditions of 93% of students across the state of Indiana. Elsesser says he respects those who oppose this proposed legislation, but he believes rather than this being a funding issue, it should be about the students. Too often, I believe, the education debate comes down to dollars and cents. But to me, what's most important in education is are kids getting a quality education and an opportunity to be successful. Now the bill is on its way to the state Senate. We'll be sure to update you on its progress moving forward. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm News 10's Dominic Miranda, Patrice Rondrell, back to you.